Hi. It's Rita. She's a rescue. Okay. She's three. She's fast. And she loves people, especially kids. And when kids are in strollers here and they wiggle their toes, she gives them the toe licking and they giggle like crazy. Oh my gosh. She loves it. She adores kids. And she's working now. She's working now, but there's no geese here, so you don't get to see her fly. But she's fast. When she chases them, when they're on this pond and they go up that slope, she flies all the way over to the creek and then comes back. Does she need special training to do that, or is she just... Mainly, just... it's... It, we... We sort of channel their instincts and applaud them. The, the most important thing is, is keeping them away from the roads and getting them and getting them to come back because you know they're in these fabulous environments they get all amped up they're chasing something the idea is to make sure they don't keep going and what about the geese how deterred are they by a, um, a beautiful dog annoying them consistency Basically, we're exploiting the predator prey relationship okay there's an instinctive fear and an instinct instinctive drive to chase them so the birds I can walk into a flock of geese and they'll barely park. She walks into a flock of geese, they'll fly up because that's in their that's in their hard wiring. And how often do you have to come to get the geese to realize this is not a hospitable? We come our through here for twice them. a day, five days a week. And if anybody calls me, I live eight minutes from here. I'll come over with her anytime they want. And so. And do you do other places too? Yeah, I have 28 stops, including this one twice in a normal day. Do you have other dogs who do this too? I have a retired dog who doesn't do it anymore, and she's my active dog. And basically, when they get to be about five or six before they get cranky, you use them to train the next dog, and that's what he did with her.